together in one mind, in one accord. It's people that are in a church. It's the people that are the church. And you're sitting right now in a body of believers, an ecclesia, that are embracing 2019 as a year of absolute, unadulterated, Holy Ghost-filled intercessory prayer. We believe that God will not do without prayer what He has only said He will do by prayer. And because of that, according to 2 Chronicles 7, 14, we are humbling ourselves and praying, and we are seeking His face, and we believe because of that that the power of God is going to reign into this place and roll out of this place and as he does he's going to rescue recover and restore I got good news for you today. We believe that when we pray, all things are possible. Why did this happen around the altars this morning? Not because the pastor's hooked up, but because the ecclesia is hooked up. Why did this happen in this house this morning? Not because I'm spending hours in my prayer closet, but it's because you're spending multiplied hours in your prayer closet. Why did the Holy Ghost fall in this place? Not one person can carry the fire of the Holy Ghost alone, but it's because you've come into an ecclesia who know the power of prayer, who know what inner session can do. We know in Matthew 7, 7, it says, ask and ye shall receive. We know Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, be careful for nothing, but in all things by prayer and supplication. What you've walked into today is a body of Christ, member ministers and soldiers well armed that are seeking the face of their king. They're laying on their face at the altar. They're weeping and crying. Why? So that when we come together, you see what just happened right here. You're looking you're sitting right now in the midst of a people that are not afraid of the glory of God. We do not recoil from the glory of God, but we long for more of the glory of God. A people, an ecclesia that believe that we are the church. We are the Bell's Chapel Division of the army of the living God. We are special forces warriors, and we are called to go out, and we're called to whip the devil at his own game. We've been called more than conquerors and strong in the Lord. I want to remind you, John 15 says this, I chose you, I ordained you, I chose you, and I ordained you. Listen to me, you're not at Bell's Chapel Assembly of God Church by accident. You are here because you are ordained to be here. You are here because you are chosen to be here. God has anointed you and appointed you and called you to this day, this hour, this time, for this move of God. You are here as a mighty soldier, and in His Word, He called us to go. Go ye into all the world. And guess what? That's exactly what we're doing. Listen now. Many, many of the people that are sitting around you right now have laid hands on the sick and seen them recover. And I'm not making it up. Go back and look at some of the videos. You'll see what's happened around here. People sitting to the left and to the right of you have laid hands on the sick and seen them rise up. People on your left hand and on your right have cast out devils and watched them flee out the back. I'm telling you, it's happened right here in this house. People in this room sitting around you, even some of them, have even raised people from the dead. Look to your left hand and look to your right. I want to tell you what you're seeing. You're seeing ecclesia that knows who they are in Christ Jesus. They're embracing what the word of God says and they say in this I refuse to be a city hid under a bushel but I'm going to be a city set on a hill for Jesus Christ the righteous we're rising up we're going to battle and we're on our way a lot of people around you right now even as I speak are grabbing a hold of a heavenly mandate they was coming through that line a while ago and they didn't know what the Lord was doing them. He was baiting them. He is pulling them through there and he's giving them a heavenly mandate. They don't have a clue what just happened. Yeah, that's what's happening. It's coming alive in you. You are heroes of faith and soldiers well armed. God's calling you up. Let us go. All around you, to your left and your right, you're, this room is full of intercessors, prayer warriors, weeping between the porch and the altar, digging in there, digging down on their knees, got their sword and their shield, and they're digging ditches, may not see the thunder, may not hear the rain, may not even be able to find the cloud in the distance, but they're down there in prayer every day, digging with their sword and their shield, digging the ditches. Why? So that when the glory comes, it'll fill us up to the overflow. That's what's sitting around you right now. Why are they doing all this? 
Because they've caught a hold of the heart of their king that none should perish, but that all have everlasting life. You see, I woke up one day and it wasn't my heart beating inside of my chest, but it was the heart of the king beating inside of my chest. I woke up one day, happened now. I'll tell you, because it's the Holy Ghost, we know we are destined to be a lighthouse. We know we're filled with the glory of God. We know we're destined for a tsunami to ring in a great and mighty army. We know we're looking for a tattooed army to come into this place. We know we're looking for people to be healed and delivered and set free. We know this. We are called and anointed and appointed to destroy the giants of the culture of this day. There's all kind of giants out there, but I want you to hear me right now. We are called to destroy the dark, the giants of darkness in this land. We're not going to go around behind the mountain to avoid them. We're not going to go on another path. We're not going to look for another way. We're not going to take the easy way, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to shine up our sword. We're going to shine up our armor. We're going to make sure our shield is good and strong. That shield of faith. And we're going straight to the middle of them. We're not cutting to the left or to the right. But we're headed straight ahead. Straight to the giants of this culture. Get ready. This community belongs to us.